hi guys welcome back to my channel so i decided to do story time for you guys oh my god i just did a video a waist bandage i'm actually sitting down with this waist bandage so if you guys are hearing me breathing like i was running 12 kilometer please sorry i want to do my makeup today but i was like nah i don't know ever since winter winter season has started yeah i'm just being lazy to just put on makeup because like it's so cold i don't i don't see any reason everyone is and dressing like they are masquerade so for me i don't see reason um why i should put on makeup I, i'm sorry i can't i'm at home <laughs> so you guys if i'm looking a bit local for you guys okay i'm not i'm trying to be classic and elegant anyways let's get right into this story i think i should give you guys a back story okay so i was in my teen teen i think yeah i was about to, um, 17 or 16 i think 15 years yeah so um one evening my older brother's girlfriend yeah came to visit us mind you my brother is way older than me like 14 years older than me so when i'm talking about my other brother's girlfriend don't think that my mom is encouraging teenagers to have a girlfriend or boyfriend at home that is an african woman <laughs> anyways so she came visiting so, so my mom asked me to go and buy some um drinks for her to come and to serve her drinks to serve her and um, something else i think biscuit or something I, I can't remember and i i didn't want to go actually but because i was playing with her phone she encouraged me to go and i can go with the phone so i was so happy when she gave me the phone to go and play with mind you she just got this phone and uh, i was so happy back back those days yeah it's so hard for for people to just own a phone so me having that type of phone all to myself it was a big deal i wanted to go and bluff my friends yeah so when i went to buy the um the drinks she sent me to buy and something else i can't remember i i bought the things and i decided to go home but the place i was standing is like in front of the um, passage where the cars are going so in my country people sell in front of the street and there is a slab a pavement i don't know how to call it out anyways you know what i mean so i was standing there trying to look out for the car so that i can start walking home and i did i started about 10 or 5 steps away from the shop and and all of a sudden someone just tapped me on my back yeah and i turned and look and the person started saying hello how are you um can you help me please i'm a Ghanaian." I just came back from Ghana. I came for a conference here in Sierra Leone. So I wanted to change money. I have so um, I have dollars. I want to change money. Where can I find a place so that I can change my money? And I was like, you 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 said you are from Ghana. Why don't you have someone who can um, tour you around, take you to places? Say so, yeah yeah. I actually have my friends, but they were not um at the apartment so i could not find them <laughs> so i pitied him so i said okay it's not too far from where actually it was so far but i was like it's not too far i can direct you can go with my direction you can find the place and i i started going and uh, with him as soon as i passed my house because my house was not far from the place i went to buy the things it was just one block away as soon as i passed in front of my house another person also tapped me like i want to say it in my language sister sister who said you go this man here so now as i say um he's a um he's a foreigner i want to say jc <laughs> he's a foreigner he's from ghana he want me to help him to direct him where they are, are changing money like the foreign exchange and he has dollars and the man was like really he has dollars don't worry i can take him there yeah don't worry i can take him there i was like 
no i was even pitying the man that because i know those boys they can just um cheat i was afraid for the uh, man like i was like no don't go and direct him. according to my direction he can find his way out he was like no don't worry hi guys so this is the continuation i don't know if you guys can hear the my stomach i'm so so hungry so my i started this video two days ago and my camera went off i could not charge my battery so too many excuses so i want to continue the story this is um i was so sad when the camera went off so let me continue don't mind my hair guys i just came from the shower so this is conditioner and oil and other stuff okay so let me just continue this story because i i really need to finish it before today's <laughs> before the end of today so the the man was like don't worry i'll go with you guys but because of the way i saw the other gentleman was anxious like he wanted to involve with the man i t i was like you know what i think this man wants to dupe this foreigner so with that thought i decided to go a bit further to direct the man with my intention i didn't plan to go um at the point like i i just wanted to go a bit further so that the man there will be a shorter way for the man when i i will leave him he can go for, by himself here yeah. so i decided to say okay don't worry sir i can take you a bit further so the other gentleman did continue to follow us yeah so we are going a Ghanaian man was talking to me like telling me about Ghana the conference he came for like I was not interested so I didn't speak anything I was just going there is this thing that was on my mind like I was feeling the pressure to go back home but there is this thing that was forcing me to go like I don't know I was not in control of myself I was like I need to go but I was also feeling sorry for the man because I don't want that other man to be involved. But the other guy was like, if you change this money for him and there is a change um, that will be left, we will be sharing the money, okay? Don't worry, I'll also take you. I also asked the man that, why are you following us? He was like, I want you are a little girl, so I want to guide you also. This 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 people this man is a foreigner. You never can tell who he is. So I just want to make sure you are also safe with him. So that's why I also I was also at ease when the other gentleman decided to follow us. Okay. So we were going the other man that joined us was asking the, the foreigner about Ghana and all sorts of stuff that we are talking. I was before not knowing what i was doing just going so by the time we are getting close to the the the, the place that is a, a filling station yeah they call it petrol station in my land but it's actually a filling station okay so when we are getting closer and the man suggested that i don't know you two of you like i don't know you me and the other guy so he decided that if he's going to trust us, we are going to hand over our phones to him so that he can trust us. Like, I was like, you don't trust me. Don't worry, sir. You can trust me. Me, I'm not like that. I was trying to prove myself to the man. The man said, okay, I trust you. I know you're a good person. That's why you decided to help me. It's just that this is money. And if I want to change my dollar, I need security. I was like, ah, don't worry. I'll give you my phone. That phone was not mine, mind you. It was not mine. I decided to give the phone to him and the other and gentleman also i saw him he took his phone and, and and gave it to the man so i was i i got a bit of confidence that yeah everything is okay and by the time we get to the place and the man said okay look and i tr when we get to the place and i told the man that that's the petrol station right there that's the filling station that's where, that is where they are changing the money and the man was like really and i said yeah so you can just go over the man was like no everywhere is light the place is so bright you know what why don't you go and call the man and bring him over here so that he can meet us at this place because there was a place where some people can sit like a place where someone can wait for a bus to come like a bus station like so i was like okay don't worry i'll go and I didn't even think twice guys i don't i didn't even think twice i went over the other guy the other gentleman that joined us 
said that when you are going over there, just ask for Abdullah. He is the man that is changing the money. And I was like, okay, I didn't even think twice, you guys. I crossed over and went to the petrol station and I said, Good good evening, sir. I'm asking for Abdullah. And the man said, Yeah, what is it? And I told him not to want to change money. And the man said, Yeah, where is the money? I said, No, I don't have it. It's I I actually came with a foreigner, yeah, he is from Ghana, so we like to change money. And the man say, he is from Ghana, and the man started asking me, his name is Kwame. I said, yeah. So, oh my God, run, run, run. He is a thief. They are thief. They are thief. They are not foreigners. They are thief. You are, you are actually the, the fifth person that has come here for the day. From 12 o'clock this afternoon, someone came. Till now, they have been coming. He said, run, run, run. I was like, no, they are not thieves. I said, I was like, no, they are not thieves, guy. I was so shocked that I started um, saying to the man that they were not thieves, that they are foreigners. I was like, no, sir, you are wrong. They are not thieves. And the man said, keep quiet. You don't know what you are talking about. They are thieves. Run for your phone. Run for your phone. You have given them your phone. And I started running. And me and the man uh, run across the street. And we went where they were sitting. They were no, they were no longer there. I started crying, fell on the ground, started. I was going crazy. I lost it, guys. I was in shock. At that time, I was so naive. I was mad at myself. How stupid. That's the time I started uh, being conscious of myself. That's that's the time I I I, I was conscious of myself. Like, why? What am I doing here? Who, who brought me here? Like, what I was doing? What? what is it any man was like is it now you are conscious i was like i i, I couldn't i couldn't understand why i was feeling the this pressure to bring them here like i don't know i don't believe in spiritual or voodoo stuff but guys that thing that happened to me like i don't know how to 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 say it but there is something that i i cannot place my hands on because i'm not the type of person that is open to strangers i don't talk to strangers when i don't know you it's not like i'm 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 not friendly i'm friendly it's just that i don't just talk to people like that i don't know yeah but that situation makes me to be so afraid really up till now when i think about those things i i i i pray that no um teenagers or anyone will find themselves in that situation yeah I don't know. My mood today is kind of a bit relaxing, like the first um, footage you saw. Yeah, maybe the energy. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say this. Um, I didn't tell you guys the story like I'm, I was supposed to because I'm kind of a bit hungry. I actually have my food here, jollof fries. So that's why maybe I'm a bit down when saying this. But guys, hold on. Let me start eating. I'll come back. So you guys, <laughs> this video is all over the place. This is actually five day. This is actually five days after the last footage you saw. Okay, so I was hungry. I ate. As soon as I finished eating, I was so so lazy to continue with this um story. So today is Sunday, yeah. So I decided to continue the story. I don't know where we we, we stopped, but I think I'll try my best to continue because this is a real story. So there is no lie. Lies cannot, um, truths cannot change. It's only lies. Okay. So I remember that we stopped at when they asked me to go for to ask for a man, a certain man, for at the petrol station, at the filling station. So when I went there, the man was like, his name is Kwame, right? I said yeah. So, oh my God, you have been robbed. They are thieves. They are thieves. You have to run, run, run for your phone. The man knew it like as if they were, um, like, the man just knew that it's either my phone or my money. It was like, run, run for your item, run for your phone or whatever you have. So, both of us stood up and the other people at the filling station, they were confused. All of them followed us. We, we crossed over at the other um, bus stop. So, we went there. They were not there. I was confused, falling on the ground, crying, being historical. I was all over the place, nervous, shocked at the same time. I was like, what? It was that time it dawned on me that, oh my God, I've messed up. Like, why, why am I, what am I doing here? What is it? Who brought me here? Like, I started becoming conscious of 
the the environment I am I was like who are these people I I, I, I was only I, I could only remember that someone tapped me on my back and asked me for a direction like I became conscious I was like how um, uh, why was I so stupid to follow people to this um and distance just for them to change money and look at what has happened to me and what am i going to tell my sister-in-law and my mom about this phone and this is a brand new phone this is the first time I've, i i i even have the opportunity to charge this type of phone so i was so 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 um um sad and i was regretting everything so the man was encouraging me to call the number if i had it off headed so i told the man that i had the um number off headed so they dialed the number and we called and one of them picked i think this was the second guy he was like don't ever call this number again we don't have your phone we we never we have never met you before i was like sir please can you just come where you said that i should come and meet you can you imagine i was still in shock like can you just come the, here is the man please where are you guys please just come and give me back the phone and please just exchange your your money let me just go back home please i was like please come back and they cut off the um line the call yeah so i was historical just falling down shouting so many people came i was just creating a scene and they were like what are these people uh, what is this world turning to like why are people so wicked so because they know that this girl is so young and naive yeah and innocent so that's why they decided to take advantage over this little girl so the man encouraged me to go back home to narrate everything to my mom i was so so scared i was all over the place guys i regret everything the first red flag i got was when um the man tapped me explained this type of rubbish that he doesn't know his way around like why would why would i i should have known that you said you are from ghana how comes you know this place how comes you know your surrounding and when the second guy also tapped me was the second red flag and also the third one that was a big red flag was when the second guy told me to go and ask for abdullah how could you know the name of the man that is changing money and everything like i could not place my head around that thing i could, I could not place my hands around those thoughts you know and I so, I'm so, so thankful, yeah, this is just um, yeah, an advice for um, people, young people, teenagers in my land or anywhere in Africa, just be aware of your surrounding because it was, this was a shock to me and I'm living with this consciousness up till now. So when I went home, I refused to enter the compound. I was so, so scared that my mom is going to be so mad or maybe spank me or something. So she was actually scared that um, I was missing, yeah. So when she saw me, she, they rushed to me. They were asking me a lot of questions. They were asking me so many questions. I could not answer them, all of them. Obviously, I just told them that this phone is missing. Some guys took me and scammed me. And I came with someone also. They also narrate everything to them. My mom was like shouting, what How could that happen? She's not the type of person that is open to strangers. What happened? And I told them that the man tapped me on my back. The other lady was like, I think it's not a normal thing. So the lady, my, my sister-in-law was like, you know, she did not take it too um, deep as the way my mom was taking it. My mom was just ashamed that of the situation that she was like, it's okay. I will buy myself another phone. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I'm working so I can afford another phone. I'm just happy that you came home safely. Nothing has happened. Nothing bad has happened to you. We just thank God that they were not kidnappers. What would have happened that, what would have happened if they were um, kidnappers? I, we thank God that they only take the, they only took the phone and not anything else. They did not do any harm to you. So my mom was like, sit down, just, I'll bring you, I'll bring you some water so that you can cool down. I was still crying. I was in shock, guys. I just thank God for my life. Yeah. So you guys, thank you so much for staying out with me throughout this um, story. I hope you guys have learned so many things, guys. If you have any um, thoughts or anything you want to add, just write it down in the comment section below. I will respond to you guys. I know how this story is all over the place. This is my, this is actually my first time um to, um this is my first time doing a story time i'll get better with time and if you guys love 
my story or if you want me to be saying more um telling telling you guys more story i'll gladly do it because i have so many stories okay so um i'll see you guys on my next video thank you so much for staying out with your girl don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and turn on your post notification bell so that you'll be the first so that you'll be the first person to be notified whenever i upload a new video okay so see you next time bye i love you guys so so much